Yawa Shah, Chairman of SWIFT, thanks very much for joining us today. Let me start by asking you, a year on after Toronto, what really has changed? So when we were in Toronto, we were talking about uncertainty about the financial markets, uncertainty about the euro, increasing regulation. A year later, same thing, same topics. So a lot has changed and nothing has changed. What is SWIFT doing to ensure that it adds value to the community? SWIFT adds value to the community by doing the following things. One, making sure that it is resilient and secure. Second, that it's cost effective to its users. And third, that it's bringing the community together to have a dialogue about common issues around the world. We're standing here in Japan. Asia Pacific is a huge opportunity for SWIFT. What does it need to do to get closer to Asia? SWIFT's biggest challenge in Asia is to make sure that it captures the right market share. The Asian economies are 28% of world GDP and growing. SWIFT only does 13% of its business from Asia. So SWIFT has to make sure that by adding value to its Asian customers, it captures the right market share. What more do you think SWIFT could do to make sure that it continues to be relevant in the future to the community? The banks are asking SWIFT to step up in an area that is new to SWIFT, which is compliance. The cost of compliance is growing rapidly for all the banks. This is not a competitive issue. It's an issue of cooperation. The banks are asking SWIFT to make sure that it can create a shared service to help the banks reduce their cost of compliance while making it more effective and value add to themselves. Yawa, thanks very much for joining us. Nice to see you. Yawa Shah there, the chairman of SWIFT.